Microsoft now officially supports Windows 11 on Apple's M1 and M2 Macs. But why now? We'll cover why Microsoft made this sudden announcement as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for trending technology news. Apple introduced its M1 chip to its Mac hardware back in 2020. Since then, the M1 chip has been viewed as a performance powerhouse, leading Apple to launch the M2 chip in 2022. Up until that point, both Macs and PCs were heavily reliant on Intel chips. As a result, it was pretty easy to sideload Windows on an Intel-based Mac using a program called Bootcamp. While not officially supported by Microsoft, this did the trick for most people needing access to Windows-only apps on Macs. It wasn't until Apple made the leap to its M1 chip that loading Windows on a Mac became extremely more difficult. Rather than leaving an entire community stranded, Microsoft recently announced its support of Windows 11 on Apple's newer Macs. To accomplish this, Microsoft has partnered with Parallels, a desktop virtualization software. Through this application, users can quickly switch between Mac OS and Windows 11 without being locked into one ecosystem. That said, it's important to keep in mind that Windows 11 runs best on PC hardware, and users of Parallels may find some limitations within the software. Nevertheless, Parallels has announced that this new partnership has allowed it to release regular support, and you can soon expect a more stable environment for Windows 11 on Macs. Now, if your business is interested in purchasing Windows 11 licenses for M1 or M2 Macs, Microsoft simply states to purchase a license through your normal Windows procurement process. In addition to paying for that license, you'll also need a copy of Parallels Desktop 18 for Mac. Although this can present somewhat of a pricey upfront cost, keep in mind that Microsoft previously only supported Windows 11 on Macs through its Windows 365 service. Depending on your needs, renting a cloud PC through this service could cost you between $20 and $162 per user per month. Knowing that, should you need help purchasing a Windows 11 license or setting up Parallels on Mac, contact Rocket IT using the link in this video's description. And to stay up to date on trending technology news, click that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of SyncUp with Rocket IT.